Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to Mass Madison and I. It is your presenter, Jefferson. And today on the board, we have the topic um, um, solving addition and subtraction on standard form. Now, most of us don't know how we can actually solve problems on addition and subtraction on standard form. So today we have four questions on the board. And with these four questions, we'll be able to see how this thing can be done. Now, the first thing I want you to understand is this. When you are solving addition and subtraction of standard form is different from when you are solving multiplication and division. Now, what you do is that you make sure that the powers of things are the same. Okay? Now, in the first question that we shall be looking at, you will notice that my power here is 4 and also my power here is 4. So, I don't need to do, you know, I don't need to do much on this question because the powers are the same. Now, how do you solve this? Now, this is what we do. All right, the question says um, 4.6 times 10 raised to the power 4 plus um, 3.2 times 10 raised to the power of 4. Now, like I said, you will notice that the powers are already the same. So what do we do? It means um, when you carry out your addition process, you are also going to get you know, a certain answer times 10 also raised to the power of 4 because that is what the powers are. Now, what do we do now? We carry out our addition. Now, 6 plus 2 gives us 8. Point 4 plus 3 gives us 7. So it means the answer becomes 7.8 times 10 raised to the power 4. It's as simple as that. Like I said, make sure the powers are the same. Now, the next question talks about subtraction. Now, number 2 says um, 3.6 times 10 raised to the power of 6 minus 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of 6. Again, you will notice that my power here is 6 and my power here is 6. They are the same. So what do we do? When you solve, you are also going to get an answer like times 10 raised to the power of 6. Now, but we don't know what the answer is, so let us subtract. Now, subtract, we have 6 minus 2 gives us 4. 3 minus 1 gives us 2. So the answer becomes 2.4 times 10 raised to the power of 6. Okay, but question number 3 now is different. Question number 3 talks about when the powers are different. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, without wasting time, let us solve question number 3. Okay, alright. Question 3 says... Um, 6.45 times 10 raised to the power 5 plus 1.2 times 10 raised to the power 3. Now, mind you, the powers are different. And I told you addition and subtraction can only function when the powers are the same. So what do we do? Now, either we make 3 to become 5, or we make 5 to become 3, okay? Now, if for instance, I want to make 5 to become 3, it simply means I will minus 2 from the power 5. Now, also don't forget that when we were solving multiplication and division, we said on the standard form, if this is our neutral number, which is 0, when you move your decimal point to the left, it is addition. And when you move your decimal point to the right, it is subtraction. Now, if we said for us to make 5, power 5, to become power 3, we have to subtract 2. So what does that mean? It means we are going to move our point 2 times to the right. Because it is only when you move your point to the right, that is when you subtract. Okay, now, if, we, if our point moves 2 times here, it becomes 6, 4, 5 times 10 raised to the power of 3. Because why? The 2 times that my point move, I have to subtract it from power 5. Okay, now, you will now notice that we are no longer using this anymore. We are now using this. So this becomes added to 1.2 times 10 raised to the power 3. Now the powers are the same. So now that the powers are the same, we can continue with the normal way that we solved before. So automatically arranging them, it becomes 6, 4, 5 times 10 raised to the power 3 plus 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of 3. 
Okay, now the answer will be something in number times 10 raised to the power of 3. Okay, now let us add. Now 5 plus 2 gives, sorry, now we have 2 here, and 5 plus 1 gives us well, 6, and then we have 4, and then we have 6. Okay, now 6, 4, 6 point 2 times 10 raised to the power of 3. Now, you will notice that I can't leave my final answer like this, no, because why? Our decimal point has to be immediately after the first significant figure. And our first significant figure here is 6. But if you notice, look at where it is. So what do I have to do? I have to make sure that the point comes back to this point. Now, if my point has to come to this position, it means I have to move my point two times to the left. And moving to the left, I told you, is what? Addition. Okay, so if my point moves 1, 2, it means I am going to add 2 to my power 3. So automatically it becomes 6.462 times 10 raised to the power of 3 plus 2. Now, why did I have plus 2 here? Because my point moved 2 times to the left, which is addition. So the final answer becomes 6.462 times 10 raised to the power of 5. Now, this is what you do when you are solving addition, when the powers are different. Okay, alright. Now, question number 2 also talks about when the powers are different, but this time we are subtracting. Now, how do we solve this? Question number 4. Now, question number 4 says um, 12.6 times 10 raised to the power of 4 minus 3.8 times 10 raised to the power of 2. Now, the same thing applies here. I'm about to use, I'm about to make power 4 becomes power 2. And how can I do that? I have to subtract 2. And I told you, for you to subtract, it means you are counting to your, to your right. Okay, now it becomes, now I'm going to move, if I have 12, 12.6 and I want to count two times to my right, it becomes 1, 2, 6, 0. Because why? When my points move the first time, 1, 2. Now this is the point, and this place becomes what? 0. So we have 1, 2, 0, 6, 0, then our point is at this position. So when I'm writing this now, it becomes 1, 2, 6, 0 times 10, rather, times 10 breaks the power of 2 because I have subtracted the not the 2 which my decimal points moved. Now, minus 3.8 times 10 raised to the power 2. It means this is out. We are no longer using that. Now, arranging it becomes 1, 2, 6, 0 times 10 raised to the power 2 minus, you know, we have 3.8 times 10 raised to the power 2. Okay, now don't forget our decimal points is here and we can just give a number there zero to make sure they have something. Now, there is no way we can remove 8 from what? From 0. So what does that mean? We have to borrow. Now when we borrow from 6, when we borrow from 6, here becomes 5. Now the 1 we borrow, we add to 0, it becomes 10. Now when we borrow from 10, here becomes 9. And then we have points. Now when we add this here, here it becomes 10. Now, 10 minus 8 gives us 2. Remember we have times 10 raised to the power 2. So we have 10 minus 8 gives us 2. Point. 9 minus 3 gives us 6. And what do we have left here? 5. And then we have 2 and 1. So now, like I said, the decimal point has to be immediately after your first significant figure. And the first significant figure here is 1. So my point has to move 1, 2, 3, 3 times to this position. And moving 3 times to the third position, we are going to add. Because when you move to the left, it is addition. So it becomes 1.2562 times 10 raised to the power 2 plus 3, the number of times the point moved. So it becomes 1.2562 times 10 raised to the power of 5. So class, this is how we can carry out operations on solving addition and subtraction on standard form. So class, we have come to the end of today's class. In our next video, we shall be looking at other problems and other topics. If this is the first time of joining us, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jeff Nino, and also don't forget to subscribe to our 
page on Facebook, Jefferson Hope, and so don't forget to share. So we'll meet again in our next video. Thank you.